today's video we are going to learn about the intermuscular spaces okay the word if you will see intermuscular it means there are some muscles and in between the muscles you will find out some spaces or gap that is known as the intermuscular spaces okay so what are the spaces three spaces we have to identify quadrangular space upper triangular space and the lower triangular space in this picture you can see this is one muscle okay this is another muscle is going like this and this muscle is going downward like this and this is the bone okay so if you will see clearly in between the muscles you will find out this type of gap okay these are the gaps okay so you will find out the upper triangular space lower triangular space and upper quadrangular space to learn about the each space i will mark the name of the muscles so we have marked the muscles name now we will see the first we are going to learn about the quadrangular space its boundaries and contents okay so in this picture if i will zoom it so you can see clearly this is the upper or this is the quadrangular space okay quadrangular space what are the boundaries so superiorly this quadrangular space is bounded by the inferior border of the teres minor muscle okay and if you will see in front of the teres minor muscle there are some uh, subscapularis muscle is also there in front and also the capsule of the shoulder joint okay so that will form the superior boundary and inferior boundary this boundary is by the superior border of teres major muscle so this full is the teres major muscle so this is the upper border of the teres major muscle or the superior border of the teres major muscle okay and medially by the this one this is the lateral border of the long head of the triceps okay so we have the lateral border and the medial border of the long head of the triceps so this medially medial boundary is formed by the lateral border of the long head of the triceps and laterally it is bounded by the surgical neck of the humerus so these are the four boundaries at least you should remember superiorly bounded by the teres minor muscle lower border inferiorly bounded by the upper border of the teres major muscle medially it is bounded by the long head of the triceps and laterally bounded by the surgical neck of the humerus next space we have the upper triangular space so what are the boundaries of the upper triangular space that also we will see so what are the boundaries upper triangular space superiorly it is bounded by the inferior border of the teres minor okay and laterally by the medial border of the long head of the triceps okay and inferiorly by the superior border of the teres major muscle so this one space this triangle like space is the upper triangular space and these are the boundaries now we have the third lower triangular space so we'll see the boundaries of the lower triangular space so what are the boundaries medially it is bounded by the lateral border of the long head of the triceps okay and laterally by the medial border of the humerus and superiorly by the lower border of the teres major muscle okay lower border of the teres major muscle so this is the lower triangular space so we have seen the boundaries of uh, all the intermuscular spaces now we are moving toward the contents okay we should know contents of each space so what are the contents first we will see upper 
quadrangular space what are the contents so you will find out the axillary nerve this is the axillary nerve here and the posterior circumflex humeral artery okay this artery is the posterior circumflex humeral artery contents of the upper triangular space okay so in the upper triangular space only you will find out the circumflex scapular artery okay circumflex scapular artery later it will take part in the anastomosis around the scapula now contents of the lower triangular space okay so in the lower triangular space you will find out the one artery that is the profunda brachii artery it is a branch of the brachial artery and one nerve that is the radial nerve and all these two contents are running in the radial groove so this was about the intermuscular spaces and their contents now quickly we will revise this is the upper quadrangular space superiorly bounded by the teres minor muscle okay and inferiorly bounded by the teres major muscle medially by the long head of the triceps and laterally by the surgical neck of the humerus upper triangular space laterally it is bounded by the medial border of the triceps and superiorly it is bounded by the inferior border of the teres minor muscle and inferiorly it is bounded by the superior border of the teres major muscle lower triangular space laterally it is bounded by the humerus medially by the lateral border of the triceps superiorly by the lower border of the teres major muscle and what are the contents upper quadrangular space axillary nerve posterior circumflex humeral artery upper triangular space circumflex scapular artery lower triangular space profunda brachii artery and the radial nerve so these are the contents so this was all about the intermuscular spaces